girls. Thanks for joining me for some phonics. Before we get started, you should have all of your letter, letter tiles spread out in front of you in a nice row in alphabetical order. If you haven't done that yet, go ahead and do it now. Hit pause, and when you're ready, you can play the video again. If you have your alphabet all ready to go and all of your letter tiles in order, let's talk about the alphabet. How many letters are in our alphabet? 26, very good. What two kinds of letters make up our alphabet? Vowels and consonants. Let's do our long vowel cheer first. A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U. Good. Let's do short vowel. A, E, I, A, 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 E, I, A, A. Woo, very good, boys and girls. Let's go ahead and point to each of the vowels as we say them. I want you to use your pointer finger. We're going to point to the vowels and say their two sounds. A says A and A. E says E and A. I says I and I. O says O and A. U says U and A. Very good, boys and girls. We will be using those letter tiles a lot to be alphabetizing. It's a really good thing to practice because when you get to first and second grade, you're going to have to look up vocabulary words and know where to find them in alphabetical order. So it's a good practice. Good job. Let's talk about compound words. We're going to start with that today. What are compound words? Compound words are two words that come together to make one word that makes sense. For example, police woman. Police woman, police woman. How about seaport? Sea, port, seaport. What is a word, a compound word you can make with tip? How about tip toe? Tip toe. How about note? Can you make a compound word with note? Note book, notebook. What about sail? Sail boat, sailboat. And last, what about back? Back yard, backyard. Let's talk about syllables. Sometimes I have a hard time remembering compound words versus syllables. How many syllables are in the word glasses? Glasses. Now, is that a compound word? Glass is? No, that doesn't make sense. Those are, that's just a word with two syllables. How about card? Card has one syllable. Very good. How about paper? Paper. Paper. Is that a compound word? No, don't let it trick you. Paper. Paper. Very good. See if you can come up with some compound words at home with your parents and then challenge them with some syllables. Sometimes it gets tricky. Let's talk about rhyming words. Rhyming words are words that have the same ending sound. Can you think of a rhyming word for wall? Wall ball, wall fall, wall tall. You may have come up with a different one too. How about bump? Can you come up with a rhyming word for bump? Bump, thump, bump, dump. Those are some examples. See if you can come up with something for quick. Quick pick, quick tick. Those are all good examples. This is another way you can work with your parents to review compound words. The last thing we're going to do is I'm going to read you some sentences and I want you to count how many words are in the sentence. Again, don't let syllables trick you. Here we go. How are quilts made? How are quilts made? There are four words in my sentence. Let's remember every sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with 
punctuation, a period, an exclamation mark, or a question mark. The sentence I just read you is a question. How are quilts made? That is a question. Who makes quilts? Who makes quilts? Very good. Another question. That quilt is so beautiful. That quilt is so beautiful. Don't count beautiful as more, more than one word, even though it has more syllables in it. That's a five sentence, five word sentence. Very good. The last thing we're going to review is the letter Q sound. What letter does Q need in order to make it sound? Letter U, very good. Q, U together makes a combination. And what do we use to code a combination? An arc, very nice. We're gonna get started next on worksheet 103. There's a one in the 100s place, a zero in the tens place, and a three in the ones place. Go ahead and grab a pencil and you can tune into the next video to complete our packet. Thanks guys.